What is going on guys? What is going on 27 squad? Welcome back in to another video and today I want to talk about not the New York Giants but the Dallas Cowboys and it kind of correlates with the New York Giants just a little bit. As you guys know, the beginning of the offseason always starts off with new coaches, new coordinators, coordinators and coaches moving on to different teams, things like that. Before free agency, before the draft, this is pretty much where we get a glimpse of the, the new season coming around with new coaches and new coordinators. So um, just a quick round off of what's what I've been hearing, what's going on. I, ha I don't know completely everything, but I know um, but I know Pat Shermer is probably going to be a Redskin as an offensive coordinator, um, which not too worried about in my honest opinion. Uh, but the big news today was that Mike McCarthy, former Green Bay head coach of the Green Bay Packers, obviously, um, and candidate of the New York Giants, has now been hired by the Dallas Cowboys. And I'm going to be honest, guys, this worries me. Now, as you guys know, if you guys have been a subscriber of my channel for quite a while now, you guys know I have a deep and utter hatred of the Dallas Cowboys. I do not like this team whatsoever. I hate them more than Philly. I hate them more than Red, uh, um, you know, Washington. I don't really hate Washington at all, honestly, to be honest with you. I probably dislike the Patriots a lot more. Um, but... You know, the, the, the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles is top of my list, but Dallas is just on a whole nother tier of hatred. And the fact that they hired who was on my list as my second favorite candidate for the New York Giants head coach, he goes off with the Dallas Cowboys. Now I'm worried. Now, if you look back in recent years, ever since Jason Garrett was the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys, you notice that, De that, Jason Garrett re never really propelled the team to where it should be. He never elevated that team's potential in any sort of fashion. Um, if anything, you may say that he held them back. He wasn't really their motivator. He wasn't really, um, you know, a reason why Dallas was where they were in those times. You look at when they went eight and eight consecutive years. You look at even when they won the division and they were just knocked out of the playoffs easily. Um, you look at all the times that, you know, they were losing to terrible teams. You look at this year, um, you know, and then, um, you know, that year definitely where we thought that J Jason Garrett should have went that year that Tony Romo went down and they were, you know, doing a quarterback carousel. Even though the quarterback was gone, they still couldn't do anything defensively, offensively. They, w they were just out of it. And this year, it really showed why Jason Garrett should not be the head coach anymore. You know, he was holding them back. You know, you look at the Dallas Cowboys roster, this team was destined for just a 12 and 4, 13 and 3 type season, but it just never elevated to that point because they just, it just seemed like. Everybody was at a disarray. Everybody was just didn't know what was going on. Jason Garrett did a terrible job managing that team and gathering that that squad together. It, you know that's that's pretty much the job of the head coach to unify everybody and make everybody on the same page. You know there was a, a viral video that went around. Jason Garrett, you know, you know the clapper, the clapping puppet, Jason Garrett. Um, you know, looking for looking for high fives and stuff like that. I think it was Demarcus Lawrence himself that just went right past him. Didn't even want anything to do with Jason Garrett, and Jason Garrett just did that kind of. Yeah, man, I just got I got myself. I got myself. But you know, it's it's videos like that. It's it's just you could just see the the body language. Nobody really cares about Jason Garrett. Nobody really cared about Jason Garrett. Nobody really came up to his defense. You look at the days with Des Bryant. Des Bryant just smacked smacked Jason Garrett around, Greg Hardy, Greg Hardy smacked Jason Garrett around, all these guys, that Jason Garrett doesn't, you know, put fear into anybody's eyes, he doesn't, you know, make anybody respect him in any way, he's just there to fill in a role, he's there to be Jason, uh, Jerry Jones's puppet, and the reason why I'm going on this whole rant on Jason Garrett is because Mike McCarthy's another guy. Mike McCarthy, in my opinion, is a much smarter offensive guru, if you want to say it that way, he is has a well uh, a, a fantastic resume with the Green Bay Packers and a fantastic res a resume elsewhere. The guy is a great coordinator. The guy just knows offense. He knows how to write up plays. Um, the guy's hard nosed. The guy's a team player. Uh, I know with the whole situation with Aaron Rodgers, you know the, those two just didn't connect, man. There were two uh, two positive, you know, uh, the positive reactions going against each other and and. Um, and it, it just didn't work out. They repelled a lot. And, you know, Aaron Rodgers is his own person. He feels like he knows everything. So does Mike McCarthy. 
They just didn't work out. But it doesn't say it doesn't mean that Mike McCarthy isn't a good coach. He's a fantastic coach. I think now with Dal- the Dallas Cowboys now having Mike McCarthy, he can be the type of guy to elevate the Dallas Cowboys, unlike a Jason Garrett. He can be the guy that where you look back in years prior uh, with him being with the Cowboys and say, wow, Mike McCarthy helped this team to where it is today. There was never the case with Jason Garrett. There was never, yes, sure, he was like candidate to be coach of the year all the time because Dallas, you know, would have a good record and, and this and that. But he really did nothing for the Cowboys. You look at Mike McCarthy, he can be a reason why that team elevates it to, you know, to where they are today. You look at Bruce Arians with the, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You can't, you can't tell me that Bruce Arians has nothing to do with what the, the Tampa Bay Bucks did this year offensively. You know, Jameis Winston, you know, the fact that he can do what he did with Jason, Jameis Winston is insane. You know, so I think... Mike McCarthy could have that same effect on the Dallas Cowboys with a young Dak Prescott, with a young Ezekiel Elliott, with a young receiving core. Guys like that. That whole offense uh, can can elevate their game with Mike McCarthy's help. So uh, that frightens me as a New York Giants fan. Now I, th- now I feel like Dallas really, really got a huge upgrade there from Jason Garrett. Now being, you know, they could hire Pat Shermer. He might be an upgrade. I, Jason Garrett is just terrible. He just... Didn't fill in a role whatsoever. Dallas Cowboys fans never liked him. Uh, they've they've wanted him replaced ever since that twelve uh, four and twelve season, I believe in tw- twenty fifteen. Um, you know they 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 wanted him replaced. So that being said, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you guys you know upset about this? You, you know Giants fans and Dallas Cowboys fans. I know you guys are probably excited. Maybe you guys wanted Matt Rule. I know he wasn't going to Dallas for sure, but. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Matt Rule, we still, we still coming for you, baby. Matt Rule.